Yo, what's going on, everybody? It is Jesser. I am joined with my brother, Jido. We are doing the who can make the best Dollar Tree meal. The way it's gonna work, we're each gonna get three minutes to shop, grab as many ingredients as we want, we'll come back home, cook an amazing meal, and then Chef Zach will choose the winner. But James, you're an amazing chef. You just completed Gordon Ramsay Masterclass. So for that reason, we are cutting your time in half. You only okay. have a minute 30 to shop. I will go first. I have no idea what I'm gonna cook. I'm just gonna get a bunch of things. Beef and peppers, give me that. Mac and cheese, give me that. Beef and broccoli. Oh, what do I need? What do I need? I only have three minutes. I only have three minutes. Chicken wing sauce, uh, some garlic salt, deluxe shells. Oh my god, this is what I'm gonna make. I'm gonna make the tortillas. I need some cheese. I know what I'm gonna make. Come on. Where is the cheese? Oh, there it is. Okay. Do they have shredded cheese, you think? Oh my god, shredded cheese. I've honestly. This is what I need, Mexican blend. Now I just need some chicken to put with it. Mmm, chicken nuggets, that will work. I'm gonna do chicken quesadillas. Definitely got some things I don't need and panic. I need more seasonings. Get some fine Himalayan pink salt, some pepper. Do I want a side? Let me, let me see. You know what? We'll just make it simple. Side of corn. Put some butter on this bad boy and we'll be good. I got a bunch of different things, so I have options. But I think I wanna go for the quesadilla. Three, two, one, let's go. Okay. I probably have no time, so I'm just gonna grab patties. Yuck. And we are in the kitchen. We're gonna have 25 minutes to make our meal. Timer starts right now. Let's go. I have to say, I definitely bought a bunch of random stuff that I'm not gonna end up using. I don't think I'm gonna end up using the beef and broccoli, mac and cheese, cheese shells. But what I will be using, beef and peppers, the chicken nuggets, I'm gonna make one chicken quesadilla, one beef and pepper quesadilla, but the chicken quesadilla is also gonna be a little hot, you know what I'm saying? What is going on over there? You look sus. I'm questioning your jalapeno cheddar cheese. Oh, Dude, I wanted to buy the pepper jack or something <laughs> equivalent to that, like this did, but it wasn't the case. What am I doing? I'm, I'm cooking, I don't know what's going on. Bad boy, we got this bad boy, we got this bad boy. Right now I'm waiting for the oven to heat up. So I'm gonna prep my chicken nuggies. Out of respect to the original thing, I'm not gonna call it what it's called, but I'm gonna try to make a quote unquote San Diego style taco. Unfortunately, I have no seasoning. I don't have tomato paste. I don't really have anything you need to make this. So I'm gonna try to make a MacGyvered sauce using the pork fat that will kind of simmer off of this. Water's there to kind of reduce it. Obviously, I'd probably never use water normally. Chicken nuggets are one of the few things I know how to make. Let me show you how to make chicken nuggets, man. So you get the chicken nuggets, kind of like water's there to move them around. That's pretty much it. <laughs> Just wait now. This is kind of a scam. Why do we have such a big bag? Such little chicken nuggets. We don't like that. This is disgusting looking. Look such at the way though. That's gross. That is hella gross. Let's get this heated up. Let's get as much of this pork fat into the sauce as we can. <laughs> how tender I'll get the pork. I bought the patties and saw, saw the patties first, so I got those, but I think I'm just gonna go use the pork the whole time. Here. The question really is, how can I get the pork kind of fat rendered into the sauce, emulsified, get it shredded up, because there is bone in it, because it's a riblet. There are like little bones in the side. You can see the bone right there. Oh no, it comes with the rice. I don't even want the rice part of it. I just want the chicken and pepper part. Mm. Three minutes, straight away. And uh, we're in the waiting game now. Probably not gonna see me for the next like Jesus. three minutes of this video. I did buy the cut corn to make a side of corn. And I don't know. Should I make a side dish? Yeah, why not? We'll be ambitious today. Going crazy today. Give me the instructions. Place frozen corn in one cup boiling water. One cup. Boom. Fill me up. Yes. I've never made corn before. This is gonna be interesting. Oh, I might throw up. Oh, it's oily. Yeah, it's gross. It's oily. <laughs> Oh, dude, yours is popping. It's a little dangerous. You getting a little worried over there about my chicken nuggets? Not really, nah. You should watch out, watch out. Chicken nuggets coming through. Put those bad boys in there. All right, the thing is, I have to wait for the other things to finish before I start my quesadillas, so I'm kind of chilling. Wait, pepper's time. Okay. Okay. Dude, this is not... <laughs> ah, do I even make a pepper? You know what? Maybe it just needs to be mixed. This is gonna taste disgustingly Healthy. like generic hot Healthy. sauce, so that might sound right. I was hoping to use the cheese to kind of cool it down, but oh god, the more I touch it, the more grossed out by it I am. I was thinking like a nice Asian beef and peppers, but it smells like a soup. Like that smells like a soup. I don't think I can add this to my quesadilla, but I don't think I can. Goodbye, beef and peppers. You have heavily disappointed me. Oh, he's already throwing stuff away. Don't worry about it. Gotta pick the best tortilla. This is my favorite part. Oh, why do they sound like that? I wish they were a little thicker, but it is what it is. I kinda gotta wait for my chicken nuggets to finish before I can really do too much. 
Bro. What's going on, man? This is disgusting. <laughs> yeah, but you're a master class chef. I don't think God could make that work. Bro, God can turn water to wine. Oh, my water is boiling. Oh, God, I Take my little side of corn. I don't know what this actually is. 15 minutes left, chef. Go put the chicken wing sauce in the corn. I feel like if I serve plain corn, it's lame. You know, who wants plain corn? But spicy corn might hit a little different. I honestly think I might just forego the cheese and just risk it for the biscuit. But the cheese is kind of like an integral part of what I'm going for. So we're in a tough spot here with regards to the cheese. It's attacking me. Hot corn. What do you, why? I don't know if it's a good idea. Oh yeah. Look at me, Gordon. Look at me. Okay, you know, butter chip. Relax yourself a little bit. Not a flamethrower. Here's a stove. So because it's not gonna be very tender, I'm just gonna try to get into small bits and then use the bone in my sauce to try to just get some of that more pork flavor. It's still a little raw. It's really not a big deal at the moment. Chicken nuggies need like three, four more minutes. Then we're gonna go crazy. What do you think about my hot corn? You think it's gonna go crazy, Travis? I've never seen something like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna test it. I don't need to add it. It's a side dish. So I gotta test it. Yeah, we just wait now, man. Jesse, can I make a trade? No. All right, now talk to me. I offer you jalapeno cheddar with pepper jack. What am I meant to do with that? I'll also give you a beef patty. And I'll give you some corn tortillas. Dude, I got flour tortillas. I'm winning. It's less authentic, though. I'll give you one pepper jack slice. For what? All three of those things. I think it's time I do my chicken nuggets. Looking fantastic. Cutting them into fours is looking like the move. Oh, it's bubbling. You know what? We can't worry about the corn right now. Just... Oh my god. <laughs> Tortilla, hit me. Boom! Progress. Oh, yes. Come on, Ben. And then we add the best part, the chicken. Oh, this is gonna be fire. Let me add some cheese. Look at my corn, bro. It's being so aggressive for no reason. All right, we're lowering the corn to a simmer. Oh my God, is that what simmer is, S-I-M? Bro, I have not been cooking the corn right. Um, we're just gonna put a little bit of salt in this bad boy. Ooh. That was not supposed to be that much salt. I might have just sold my dish right there and take it off temporarily. Oh my dude, this is horrible. I might have flipped it too early. Jesus, no. I have no idea how this is gonna taste. I think it's gonna taste way too okay. hot. I'm actually stressed. I don't feel good. Why is it so dry? Like I put in so much butter. Well, just because we're gonna worry about the corn right now. We gotta find a strainer. Let's go. My hot corn. It doesn't need that much. Let me try one. Here's American cheese, not the case. Can't even taste the sauce. I'm gonna try to redo this. Just gonna mix it in there. Put that on top now that it's a little hotter. He's not gonna eat the whole thing. He's just gonna really take from the top. So I only need the top corn to be hot. Perfect, 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 perfect. Oh, this is good. Oh, this is fantastic. Oh my God, this looks so good. Pretty much good. James, how much time you got? Yeah, we can call it. Seconds. You can call it. Chef Zach, it is time to judge the dishes. Who do you want to go first? You can go first. All right, I will explain my dish. Mine is the better looking one to your right. It is hot corn. I don't know if you've ever had hot corn before. It's actually one of my special dishes I learned in the South one time. Then I have chicken nuggies quesadillas. Ooh. With extra delicious sauce on the side. Yeah. It's in it, actually. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. Don't all right. open it. All right, I'll start out with the... What is this? Hot corn? Yeah, it's hot best from the top. Best from the top? Yeah. Now, one thing I will say, I don't really see any seasonings on it. I like salt and pepper in my corn. You haven't even tried it. <laughs> That's true. I don't know the flavor. <laughs> is this just corn with hot sauce on it? Dude, it's my specialty. It's not even good hot sauce. It's like Frank's Red Hot. Is it too hot? It's not too hot. It's just... And gross. It's a side dish, you know, you could forget about it. Oh, this better be good. It's gonna be delicious. Dude, you sound like you love it. Oof. There's like no salt on this and too much salt in this. You had a bad bite, bro. <laughs> oh. I don't even know if the nuggets are done because they're like soggy. All right, let me move on to this here. What do we What do we have here, James? Lord Zach. Now, apologies in advance for the strong generic hot sauce taste. Okay, I mean, that's fine. Just gonna let you know, like, it will disappoint you. But we have a San Diego style taco made with pepper jack and pork. Oh, it's a taco, okay. 
I dip in here? You can. Yes. Too spicy, I'm guessing. As weird as this sounds, bro, this tastes like a f***ing Slim Jim. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. You have to try this. It tastes exactly like a Slim Jim. Is there like a third or something? Or like Maybe try a non-salty bite. A non-salty bite. Maybe like try one. mine without the sauce. I can try yours without the sauce. Let me do that first. Still Slim Jim. Still Slim Jim. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna have to go with this one. <laughs> the other one is like, it's not edible, bro. It's so salty. The corn is like pointless. Like, I don't even know. This is like, actually tastes like something, has some flavor. It's not a great flavor, but at least it has flavor. Um, so yeah, I would probably give this one the win, but I wouldn't eat either of them. Ladies and gentlemen, congratulations to our winner, Chef James. Thank you guys for watching this video. I tried my best. Let me know what other cooking challenges you want to see. Check out two other videos popping up. I'll see you in the next one.